All right. Hello, Karate Kid beginners. Yes, I'm not in my uniform today. It's early and it's pre-test and I imagine that you guys aren't in your uniform either. So I'm outside. Well, I'm wearing my pants. I promise, I'm wearing my karate pants. Um, but, you know, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> hello and welcome to pre-test. It is week 15A and what's going to happen is we're gonna go over everything you need to know for stripe test. So, let's do it. So just to go over a few things, um, when, obviously for this video you don't need your full uniform because it's pre-test, but for everything else, so if you take any of the zooms this week, you will be taking stripe tests, so you need your full uniform. If you're taking the stripe test video on Thursday, you obviously need your full uniform. If you um, are taking any of the in-person classes this week, it is also stripe test, so you need your full uniform for all of those. Um, you also need your star sheet, so if you don't have a printer, please don't stress out about going to the store and get ink. Just look at the PDF and write down the answers on a line piece of paper. That's what I did when I didn't have any um, ink to print them out, so that's completely understandable. Um, just as long as the answers get down, parents sign it. Um, but yeah, it's stripe test week, so you'll need your nunchucks. Right? So get those, put them to the side. Um, we're just going to go over everything. I'm going to go over what you need to know of Action Karate Form 1 and your self-defenses. I have a couple of friends from Team Zenith that wanted to help me out. Um, Lily Morway and Sabrina Wright and Hunter Wright, they will be in this video as well. Not only to get my perspective, but to get another person's perspective as well, because that always helps me too. Um, so yeah, just as a reminder though full uniform there should be no excuse unless you don't have your uniform for some reason but you should be showing up to classes this week with your jacket on um, with your star sheet with your nunchucks obviously if you don't have a nunchucks that is understandable because it's a new weapon this cycle and not all of us have had the opportunity to grab it um, I know at the end of next week they're planning on doing a drive up graduate not gra bleh, a drive up stripe test where you can come pick up your stripes and the school is starting to open up again so I'm pretty sure you can order your nunchucks if you need them and pick them up um, socially distance of course um, yeah so as we move into you know seeing each other in person more um, it's important that we um, are aware of all these things so uh, this this week will be stripe test and yeah so let's get started I'm gonna show you guys action credit form one what you need to know and then um, we'll do some star block set drills we'll do self-defense drills we'll work on your nunchucks a little bit and then you'll be done um, so yeah let's get started so I'm in my guard stance all right I'm bent this is not we're not doing that all right that's not part of the form but this is not what I'm looking for remember you just talked about it excellent all right I'm in my guard stance back fist twist and bunch turn the foot roundhouse kick slide up side kick back fist take any punch all right that's all you need to know so guard stance point the elbow that's very important all right we're working on technique the first month is solely technique right we got from a to b right we got from the back fist to the take any but in between each of those moves each of those techniques that whole phrase or those two phrases whatever is technique all right you need to break down the moves and you need to understand what you're doing because we can be doing this for four months and you guys could just be going through the motions but until you know what you're doing it's not it's not a form so we're in our guard stance all right we're pointing our elbow at the target boom be someone's face jaw cheek you're pointing your elbow at the person in a nice stance back fist twist and punch make sure you're rotating all right we will talk a lot about that next month Turn the foot. This is very important because your standing foot needs to face the opposite direction. Guard stance, back fist, twist and punch, turn the foot, roundhouse kick, slide up, side kick. All right, again, those chambers. Point the knee, kick. All right, you're not kicking with your toes. A lot of you guys kick like this. You're, kick, you're pointing your, pulling your toes back, kicking with your shoelace with a roundhouse kick. Slide up, butt, heel kicks in the side kick. You guys got it? Again, we've worked on that a bunch of times. 
guard stance. All right, turn the foot, roundhouse kick, slide up. Ooh, I said low battery. Sorry guys, slide up, side kick, back fist. Again, point the elbow in a nice stance, rotate, take a knee punch. Feet together, courtesy. I got four one. Ah. Okay, so because this is pretest, I'd like you guys to pause the video here and continue to practice the form for 10 minutes. So set a timer on your mom's phone, on your iPod, on your iPad, on your timer, on the clock, any way you can set a timer set a timer for 10 minutes and you guys are going to practice the form now don't repeat the form the same way for 10 minutes because that's boring and you're not going to learn anything remember we're working on excellence and growth so what i want you guys to do is set a timer for 10 minutes but practice the first two moves at first for like the first two minutes really break down that back fist right you got to work on pointing the elbow you know hitting with the right part of the fist the first two knuckles right this way the twist and punch work on that rotation because that'll be very important next month um and then add in the chambers but within those 10 minutes work on those chambers don't just throw your foot out there expecting to, it to be right the first time practice pointing your knee practice you know pointing your butt practice holding up your chamber for a long time 10 minutes of practicing your form does not mean repeating the form for 10 minutes straight because that's boring you're gonna get sick of it you're gonna get tired and it's not gonna be fun so what i want you guys to do is set a timer for 10 minutes and truly break down the form show me how you chose to break it down and break it down and how you're getting ready for stripe test because obviously we're not together right now um and stripe test is this week so i can't truly help you break it down unless you truly understand um what i've been teaching you this month because i've given you a lot of details this month and i want you guys to make sure that you're channeling that information in and turning it into your own as well so with excellence this month make sure you take you know what i just showed you of the form what hunter Wright just showed you of the form make it your own spend 10 minutes doing that um and then we'll move on to self-defense. So, go do that. All right, so next what you guys are working on is self-defense. So, um, I'm gonna put in a clip like I did earlier from when I put in the Advanced Dragons clip about this self-defense and how I want you to practice it. But right now I'm gonna show you how I like you to practice the trap step back self-defense. I only had to teach you one of them this month but I decided to do both because both are, I used, I used both because both are good and it was something else for you guys to learn and challenge yourselves with. But I understand that one of them was more complicated than the other, which I think is the trap step back one. Um, I'm trying to put you in a good spot. Alright, so I'm going to put in a clip of Sabrina Wright doing the form in a moment. Um, so what's going to happen is... I'm gonna, oh, bleh, sorry. I'm gonna teach you how to do the self defense first. Then I'm gonna put in Zenith member doing it again to show you what it's like to do on another person. But here it's just breaking it down. So I'm gonna say I don't want any trouble. And what's gonna happen? Oh my God, there's a bunny. Sorry, distraction. All right. I'm gonna trap and step back. All right. So trap, step back, wrap around. So what's gonna happen is. Um, you're gonna trap so say this is my right arm but it's coming up as the left arm on your screen so this is my left arm okay I want you guys to use this arm that matches me and then I'll do the other side so this arm is trapping the arm that traps right so someone is grabbing your shoulder you're gonna reach to the opposite arm because it doesn't make sense to trap here all right you're gonna trap across the arm all right their hand you're trapping their hand the same arm that you trapped with is the same leg you're gonna step back with so let's do that hold out this arm trap step back hold out this arm trap step back hold out this arm trap step back take this arm wrap around push ready I don't want any trouble trap step back wrap around trap step back wrap around all right when you're wrapping around what you're doing is all right you're 
basically you're twisting their arm and you're pushing it Are right? you getting under their arm all right you'll see it in a minute all right but basically we're just working on the technique right now so I don't want any trouble trap step back wrap around the arm break the elbow again if you're doing this with a sibling I don't want you to but if it's necessary you need to be careful because you will break them and it won't be fun because then mom and dad are going to take you to the emergency room and they're not going to be happy with you and it's not going to be a good time. No one wants to go to the emergency room right now. It's not safe. So, I don't want any trouble. Trap, step back, gently wrap around, gently push, okay? I'm not looking for how powerful or how strong you can do this. I'm looking for the technique and how focused you are with it. I don't care about how powerful you can be right now. I'm, care I, I'm caring or I care for the amount of focus you show. So let's do the other side. So hold out this arm, trap with the same arm that trapped. You're going to step back towards that direction, wrap around, push. I don't want any trouble. Hold that arm out. Trap the opposite shoulder, just me or me. So if I'm holding out this arm, you guys hold out this arm. All right, the arm on this side. Trap, step this way. Take the front arm, wrap around their arm, push. All right, so what I want you to do for three minutes, set a timer for three minutes. Yes, it seems like it's a long time, but you need the repetition. Repetition is key to keep growing. Practice is key to keep growing. So. I don't want you to just like go like this and wrap around because that's not doing anything for you or going like this and wrapping around. Not doing anything. All right. Really pretend someone's grabbing you. All right. Trap. Step back. Wrap around. I don't want, I don't want your parents to attack you right now. I want you to be able to do it in the air before someone grabs you. So someone puts their hands on you. You are going to imagine trapping, stepping back, wrap, push. Again, imagine. I want you to practice for three minutes just this. Trap. Step back, up, push. I'm gonna put in a clip of one of my Zenith members, Sabrina Wright, doing this. She executed it beautifully. Um, that's how I wanna do it when you do it against the person. But before you do that, I want you to spend three minutes just doing it in the air. Again, what, the drill we just practiced, sticking your arm out, right? The arm that's on this side, traps, but that same arm, that same leg is gonna step out. All right, work on this. Let me get you a whole body view of it, right? This side. Trap, step back, wrap around, push. That's all you're doing. This arm, you're gonna step back with this leg. So trap, step back, front arm that's free, wraps and pushes. Again, rewind this video, rewatch like this clip so you fully understand it. Practice it for three minutes. You'll see Sabrina's right, Sabrina Wright's clip next. All right, then once you feel confident doing it in the air, I would like you to practice in the air with focus. I don't want you to see you just going like this, like you don't care. Focus on the technique. Then move on to doing it with a parent, someone who's taller, someone who will like let you know that it hurts. All right, don't be tough with the self-defense. I'm not looking for how powerful or how strong it can be. I'm looking for the focus for that technique because it is month one. We need to get the technique down. All right, so go do that. Next are a few clips that I used in the Advanced Dragons video yesterday, but it's perfect in what I want you guys to execute in practicing the overhead club attack self-defense um, as well. Um, so I'm going to tell you what drill I want you to do and then an activity associated with it. Um, and then we'll do Starbucks bet. So <laughs> Starbucks set and then we'll do a few chuck techniques and then you guys will be done for today. But keep focusing. All right. Another self-defense. I want you guys to get in a chair. I want you guys to get in the chair. You're obviously, you're not going to put your back to the chair and lounge like this and listen to me talk. Because that's not how I want you guys to do this. All right, I want you guys to sit in a chair and you're gonna take this arm. All you're gonna do is move out of the way and block. Move out of the way and block. Move out of the way and block. I have pool noodles right over here. All right, and what's gonna happen is you have an adult with you that's gonna hit you in the head, you need to step out of the way and block. 
block. I'm hitting myself in the head. Block. All right, so what I want you guys to do is something's coming towards you over your head. You need to get out of the way, block it. 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 All right, so you're sitting in the chair. You're gonna do this five times on each arm. So that's one. All right, so someone's hitting you over the head. You're not going like this and blocking. You're not going like this and blocking. You're blocking like this. Block, 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 block. Um, so block, block, that's one. Get out of the way. That's two. That's three. Both sides equals one. So four, five. You're blocking out of the way. Then what you're going to do is, I want you guys to see the ground. All right. What you're going to do is, sorry, my God, that's an awesome view of my shoes. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you were just sitting in the, cha the chair, right? You blocked your last time. You're gonna get on the ground, take a knee, just like in the last part of Action Cry Form 1. So if you need to get to there, all right, your left leg is down and right leg is up. You're gonna put a diamond on the ground towards your left leg and side kick, side kick. You're gonna go through all five of them. So bring your knee all the way to your nose. One, two, three, four, five. Get back in the chair and do it again. Block, I know you can't see me. Block, that's one. Block, block, that's two. Go all the way up to five. Back on the ground, left leg is down, right leg is up. Diamond on the ground towards your left leg. Bring your right leg to your nose. Kick, 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 side kick chamber. Your knee comes back, your butt is showing. Four, five, and keep doing that. All right, go back to the chair. All right, actually, I want you guys to add something. So after doing one round of blocks, then the, the side kicks, the next round, you're gonna add block strike block strike so what I want you guys to do is do just start with the blocks first do five of those right then do the side kicks then do another five of these all right so essentially you're doing two rounds of just normal blocks and then the kicks once you get to the third round of blocks add the strike add the strike add the strike right what you're doing is you're pushing up Right, you're blocking the arm, not the weapon, remember? You guys want you to write down. Yes, this is part of your pretest. I want you to write down what happens if you block the weapon. Does it feel good? Do you get hurt? What happens? All right, I want you guys to close the distance, block the arm, slam the weapon into your opponent, feet together. Use a pool noodle, use something that they can use to hit you with. Block, all right, that's the third round, do five of those. Do the kick. Set a timer for five or ten minutes. I know. Again, I know it's a long time, but you need to work on this. What else are you gonna work on? This is what we would have been doing in class. Use your parents. All right. Sorry, my timer keeps going off. Use your parents. Use your siblings at home that are either your age, older. Uh, I would rather you use older siblings for this because normally they're probably a little bit taller than you, and they won't bonk you on the head and you won't argue. Or use your parents. They're taller than you. Um. And that's what I want to see. So practice the self-defense. And that's basically the technique that I'm looking for this month. All right? So go All do right, that. So I'm going to put in the cupcake game that I used at the beginning of the week. Um, what you're going to do is if you didn't play that game, a cupcake is going to fall on the top of your screen. And you're going to have to block it like you would in the drill. Remember, I want to see you moving out of the way. Okay? So. Oh, gosh. Am I going to be able to get this? Yes, it's standing up. All right? If I say I don't want any trouble, I'm not just blocking and going like this. I'm stepping to the side, I block, I wrap around. All right, block, wrap around. So what's gonna happen is the cupcake is gonna come on the screen. You're gonna step out, block, come back. The most important thing is getting your head out of the way. Step out, block, feet together. Step out, block, feet together. Step out, block, all right? Then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna freeze the arm in the air. So the arm will be something like this. It'll be frozen in between the time 
that I unfreeze the arm, all right, you need to add this. Once you do this, the arm will become unfrozen again. So you're gonna block, it's gonna be frozen, you need to go like this, feet together, all right? Block, go like this. The arm will be frozen in the air, right? And you need to complete the motion in order to move to the next block. So the first few drills will just be constant block, 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 block. That'll be the first few moves. After a few times, the arm will freeze in the air. Before it becomes unfrozen, you must slap the weapon into them, right? Because remember, you're not blocking the weapon, you're blocking their arm, redirecting the weapon into them, all right? So, to reiterate, you'll do a few of these at first, right? A few of these, and then all right, the arm will freeze in the air. In between the frozen time, you need to slap and get back to where you are before moving to the next arm. All right, so that's what the next clip is. Practice and go. Okay, so real quick, after you just played that game, I'm gonna go over a star block set with you and then nunchucks. Um, Lily Morway, a red belt who is testing for black belt actually this cycle, it um, had a beautiful example of how to better remember um, star block set. There's just a few things that I wanna critique before I show you her video. In her video, um, she does the up block like this. I want you guys as Karate Kid beginners, my students, to cross your arms instead of going like this because when we talk about it in class, a lot of you will block up like this, but think, if someone hits you in the head, right, it's gonna fall right through your arms. If you cross your arms, right, and you're in that nice horse stance, if you cross your arms, okay, you'll catch the weapon in the X. Here, it'll fall through and bonk you in the head. So in the video, she does it like this. I want you guys to still cross them on top. Also in the video, her in block is down here. Lily Morway, if you're watching this, your in block should be in front of your face. Good tip for black belt, all right? Because if you're blocking down here, you're not blocking your head. This is touch, this is in. So up, in, all right? Remember you're blocking your face, out. The rest of the video, Lily did beautifully, but I just wanted to critique those things before you guys moved on so we didn't get confused. And Lily, that'll only help you. Beautiful job in your example. You guys will see that in a moment. It's so cute and it's so awesome. All right, but just make sure you guys are in your horse dance and do it with me a few times. Up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down, up, cross your arms to the top, in in front of your face, out to the side, touch, down, back, push down. Remember to say the words. That's part of the form. Up in out touch down back push down feet together courtesy watch lily do it with her practice it a few times voila
Hey guys, I heard you want to do star block set, so I thought of some ideas to help you maybe remember it. Everybody, hopefully remember, you need to go in a horse stance, like you're sitting on a box. So, let's say you have a brother or something that just graduated, you're so excited. If you don't, imagine you do. So, first, you're really excited, so you throw your hands in the air. But remember, somebody's trying to hit you over the head. You throw your hands in the air, and you block. Then they come over to you. you they graduated, so you give them a big hug, which is in. And then you don't want them there anymore. So you do out to send them away. But then you bring them back in again and touch, which is another hug. And then, yeah, the dog comes along. So you want to get the person away and then push the dog down so they don't jump on your brother. All right, so super awesome. Lily did a fabulous job. So let's give her a hand. All right, you guys are now going to get your chucks. And all I want you guys to do this cycle is just, or this month, is just to Practice what techniques we went over. Although I didn't teach you anything concrete this month, I wanted you guys to get used to using the chucks and used to the motion and used to using it. So just make sure that when you're being respectful to the weapon that before you use it, and while I'm talking, you should be taking me, put it on the ground, and wait for me to tell you to pick it up. When I say you can pick it up, you take a knee and you pick it up again like that. We do not throw them to the ground, we don't swing them while I'm talking because that can both hurt someone and it's not respectful. All right? So, what you guys are going to do is, you're going to get in your horse stance, you're going to start it ready, bring it to one side, and just practice, ow, <laughs> bring it to each side. Alright, alright, once you get to do that a few times, just practice up-downs, do about three of them, nice, do some triangles. Bring it up, switch sides, do a couple downs and ups, triangles, All right, maybe a few figure eight. <laughs> oh my gosh, see, even I, you're going to have some bloopers with these. <laughs> As you can tell, nunchucks are not my favorite weapon, I don't, they're not my favorite. They're fun to swing around and stuff, but I like things that are stationary, like bow staffs, like they're all in one piece, so I can use them in like, I don't know. These are just, I always find myself hitting myself in the head with these. Kudos to you guys so you can swing them like it's nothing. I literally, oh, I can't do it. Anyway, <laughs> do these a couple of times. All right, do some figure eights. All right, down, ups. I just want you guys to get the motion, right? Maybe spin in a circle, challenge yourself, don't hit anything, don't throw your truck across the room, all right? But practice catching, right? Do some figure eights, practice catching, right? But I want to see these, throw a block, throw a block, block, block. Basically use your weapon, but I don't want you to see you just going like this or walking around and going like this because that's not an unchuck, all right? Slow it down if you need to. Okay, don't move too quickly. If you, I want you to, I want if it's if it's not looking like a chuck, chuck set, I don't want you to get through it just to get through it. Slow it down. If you need to go slow, just to get the technique. That's what I'm looking for. Remember how I said earlier with the self defense that I'm not looking for power. I'm not looking for power. I'm looking for focus on your technique. So again, slow it down. I'm not looking for speed either. Or else you'll have a situation like Miss Alley, where you threw your chuck across the room. So we don't want to do that. All right, but this is what I'm looking for. It's just the up, downs, triangles, right? Make your own little form out of it. Put some music in the background if you want. But I just want you guys to practice those techniques. All right? Remember this week, all outdoor classes are full uniform. All, all outdoor classes are strike tests. Zooms are stripe tests, and the next video will be stripe tests, all right? Don't forget your star sheets. Don't forget to smile. Remember working on excellence and courage. So, aside from the star sheet, I would also like you guys to get a separate piece of paper. On one side of the paper, I want you guys to write um, what you think excellence means. On another side of the paper, I want you to write what courage means. And at the bottom of the paper, I want you to write how together in combination they can make the world a better place so give me an example of excellence give me a definition of excellence give me both do the same thing for courage and at the end combine them put them together how do they both tie together to 
cause good, to create good change, to help you grow. So that's what I want you guys to do. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you guys this week. Bye, guys. Good job.